Hello everyone man, welcome back to the channel. This is a gameplay right here. This is Justin Herbert for the week. This is one of my weekend league games and this one was a close one. Here you go on the first play, he threw it mm, right there. I dropped, I dropped Cam right there to make that play but he did it right here. I really wasn't paying attention and I stopped right there and then I got stopped at the, at the, what, at the four. That was just terrible. And then here we go, man. Justin Herbert, I really think he probably the... To me, he's the best quarterback in, in the game. No cap. Mm, look at that throw right there. Nice, smooth, and quick. Then here I try to test his run, his run game support. It was pretty good. He knew how to shoot the gap most of the time. As you're going to see here. That right here. Mm. Right there, right open. Evan Ingram, he's he's pretty good. I just added him. I wish that I wish that I wish that he was a little bit bigger, you know. And then that whole shot streak right here, you're gonna see that I'm gonna keep going back to that because he was giving he was giving it to me. See right here, I'm checking what kind of abilities that he have so I can run the ball because I really want to factor in the run. But after I was just mm, right there, that inside stuff got me. I try to double team the inside stuff, but it still got in. And that was just crazy to me. So I caught the same play. I hurry up. And this time we threw it. And this time we looked at. And then we see, ooh, blind Stevie. Because he was not open. And then Julio Jones did a little side hurdle. And he took it back for six. And I got to give him props on that. Because he did pretty good on that one. That one he got me. He baited me. And right here, I don't know what I was doing, bro. I was frustrated. I, I was taking back-to-back -back L's and weekly league. And I just... Try to try to try to. I, I gave up. Now let me try to find some new offense to run. So I, I was throwing up bullshit. RB was open right there, but since like this was my first time doing those route combos, I didn't know what was open, so I just threw it away. Right here, this is my bread and butter. Mm. Do that. I thought I thought the pass would go over his head, but it obviously did it. And do jumped up and picked it. So now I'm down 14, and he got ball. So I'm like, okay, I'm starting to panic a little bit. I'm like, damn, am I gonna lose another weekend league game? And then boom, right there, Lord Jimmy Graham, six seven man, you need him. He literally saved me this game a couple times. So that was a clutch pick right there. And I come back the next drive, try to do a roll out corner. Good thing, that, good thing he didn't throw it on, on, on the money because he was covered. And then right here, all right, let me call this play right here. I know this will always work, and I see Javante Adam right open. I launched it. <clears throat> take it to the high. Take it to the high. That's the way we take it to the high. MI8, take it to the high. And now we we're coming back. All we need is one more stop, man. And then right here. He breaks the contain. I jump to the tight end, try to jump after them, and then boop, pick. So I'm like, okay, we we might we might have a chance. So I'm over here trying to trying to take it back for six. So we get back on offense, same same offense. Trying to run it different ways now, since he we've been doing the same play, but he leaving he leaving Ever Ingram open. So we throw it right back to him, a gain of 15, 10. 10 15 yards, easy 15 yards right there. So I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna take that every time. And then, boom, right there, right open. Same, same play, but this time I streak the tight end and I make the the receiver do the corner instead of the tight end. So that way, that was open. Yeah, we try to do the same thing again over here. And then he peeped up on that, and then we said, oh. And that was like a quick heads up play right there for me to jump, for me to dive into the end zone like that. Because I knew he was going to dive at me. And then right here, we're going for two. Devontae Adam, man, coming clutch. And right back on defense, we are about one point now after we were done by 14 0. Then we got a sack. Boom. And then here right now, I got a game all in control. He's panicking, he's switching up, he's switching up his formation that he was running. And he going to bunch. I'm like, all right, since he going to bunch, let me switch to my defense. 
And he hit me with doubles. Nah, man, I'm kind of lost. But we're still, we're still hanging in there. We see what he wanted to do. Boom. He hit uh, Andre Johnson right there. Right up that middle. Taylor Mays really should have been there. But I don't know what that, what he was doing. He was back there eating with his thumb stuck up his ass. And then over here, that's Derek Henry being Derek Henry. Breaking tackles. So right here. We ran with the running back, and then until we realized he was right open, man. He was right open. We gave about 20, 30 yards on that. That was bad user by me. And then right here again, that was bad user by me because there's no way I was going to get all the way over there to the corner. And then he realized that, so he did this. And that was a spot, mark spot play by him. He put a running back on the wheel. That play is almost unstoppable because I have I have mid zone KO and flat zone KO on that press on that person. I just tackled him, and he did not knock it out. So, boom right there, he got me. That was not right now. That was a good chess match, and you can see that uh, Justin Herbert is laying up. So he's letting me know which one is first. Oh, my first open read is. I might switch out that X factor because I don't think that X factor help out too much. But I like it because it gives you no pressure on when you're throwing on the run. And then right here, I don't know how he caught that. It's like he caught that through Evan Ingram body. And I was I was like I was raging after that. Cause I was like, how the how the man looking back at this bit me on a curse. But right here we get another set with the same guy. I think that's um, Malcolm, Malcolm Smith. He got two sacks in the game right here. Right here, man. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I tried to tackle him, and he just did the little, I don't know what that was, but he got me. You see right here, simply, he want to go back to that to that crosser, and I peep, and I ran back there with him, and he stood through it. And then right there, we're going to call him Jimmy Cho, Jimmy Toe tap right here, and he got me the ball back. And this one right here was a crazy play. Right here. I seen circle open. I threw it. Mm, but Ian bought me. That made me stop. I should have kept on running. That would got me touchdown. And then Ian just bucked me right there, man. When I said they bucked me, because that, that, that should have been touchdown. And me again on my Stevie Wonder, on my Stevie Wonder shit. Threw a pick right to him, and he took it back for sick. So right now I'm angry as hell, cause I just had I just erased a 14 point lead, and I came back right back and gave it back to him before the quarter before the half ended. So I was I was in my head I'm just like oh man I still got this I still got this I still got this and then he gonna come in here and try to go for two again, and he gets it with the same play. He gets it. So coming out in the second half, I'm like, man, the run is not working. I'm going to give up on the run, so I'm just going to straight up pass it. So you're going to see in the first couple of plays, I try to do that same bomb again. But I don't know what happened. Cooper Cup, it wasn't lining up. So so I don't know what happened. Right here, I sh what I should have been doing is throwing it underneath. As in, like, in doing a possession catch instead of trying to aggressive catch it. Because you can see every time I try to go aggressive catch it, he's not catching it. So right now it's third and ten. I'm still trying to go deep. And right here, I made him stop. And the safety was like ten yards behind. So I was able to catch it. So right now he got double me activated. And he had sent Randy Moss with him. So I like, man, let me just take my duck down. And then, and then Moss on this, doing Moss on this thing. He got me eight yards out of that. Nice second and two. I'm like, let me take another shot because I, I got two more plays to get first. And then boom, Devontae Adam. Again, a 15, and we move the sticks. And notice how the pass out of Justin Herbert is coming out very quick and smooth, no wind up, no nothing. He just slinging that thing. I'm telling you, man, Justin Herbert might be one of the better quarterbacks in the game. Because I started off with the weekend league with Randall, Randall Cunningham. He fumbled like three, four times. And I was like, what the F, bro? And then right here, we score a touchdown, we even it up. 
Yeah, right. This is my nice two-point conversion play right here. Mm, right back in the end zone. Now we done by. Now we done by seven. So we done by seven. We said, okay, we got this. We cooling. We cooling. So right here, first and ten. You know, everybody wants that roll routes, but he threw it to the to the flat. So I'm like, okay, since you want to do that, I put my curl flats right out of five, and then right here. I don't know what happened. That should have been picked. That should have been picked. Cause that's not Trey Lane, man. Right here, he got me with that post. If he would have thrown that, if, if if I didn't have that pressure coming in, he would have had time. Even right on fourth and three, dude is right open. I can't blame him because um, that linebacker I put in that hook and curl, he doesn't have good zone. So he got like a 56 zone. So that's all on me right here. And then right there, that was just right open. Tell the mains was supposed to be right on that end. He was just, he just wasn't there. So right now he just driving down, driving down, taking the time. If you look, it's already third quarter already. And that flat is okay. On light to lane coming handy on our last play. So right now he dotting man. He's dying. He's doing his thing. He's going down there and getting little, little, little yards. And I'm telling you, man, Joe Namath cannot throw on the run. I think he got like a 90 or a 92 throw on the run. His thing is disgusting, bro. On some passes, he'll get it. On some passes, he won't. So, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you try. Again, right there with Taylor Mays. That should have been a knockdown at least. He lit up. Maybe I need to put Acker back on him. Maybe that's what I need to do. Because he could have dove at that and then swat it down. I don't know what he thought this was. But he did the same thing again. And this time, Tony Mays get truck, bro. Tony Mays get truck. Take that boy lunch money, dog. And he almost took the last three minutes, the last two minutes of the third quarter. He took that. So right now, I'm panicking. I'm like, I'm still down seven. He's moving down. I don't know what to do. Then he threw that crosser right there. Again, that's Dominic and Sanu in coverage. Another 50 zone guy. Because what I usually do, I drop him down. Just in case, like, oh yeah, there's somebody there. Let me not throw it. But this guy was just throwing it right at them. Knowing that they got a little zone coverage. And then right there, that's on me. I should have left somebody right in that middle. But I didn't. And who did Jones got, got the two? So right back out here again. I'm trying to go for that streak. Mm. He, he getting very close, but he's not actually getting there. So this time we decided let's put a tight end on our street. And then we realized that we, we was letting him go too far. So it's, the city would have time to play that. So right there, uh, we flipped the play and then we threw it to... To no effect, he got 97 speed on the Seahawks team, team. And I noticed that he kept on bringing down his safety. So I'm like, let me try this. Boom. A bomb to Devontae Adam. Look at that. Touchdown. Telling you, right? Justin Herbert is that dude. And I tried to go for the two-point conversion on the same play that I did that in the first quarter. And he noticed it. And he put two people over there. And they dove. And they got that. And then right here, I was getting desperate. I'm like, man, let me go for the for the outside kick. It's either I get it or he don't he can score he, he can score real quick and I can have the ball back and try to do something with that. And then when I seen that just happen, I thought he was gonna take it to the house. My I mean I thought he I thought he was gonna take that to the house. I was shit in my pants. And then right here I got lucky. Cause he was right open man. Then right here, he tried to do the crosser. He went out of bounds and came back in. I thought it usually give you yards with that, but it just give him give me the down. So I, I took it. So right here, he looking for that crosser. Again, Joe Namath, that under pressure. That extra elite right there coming in clutch. And then again on this play right here, he got me. I was on my D tackle. I seen him. I try to go with him. Again, I started to lead. It was getting there. 
and you can see me i'm still trying to get this streak for my for my tight end and this time he finally catches it finally a gain of like 30 yards and i'm hurrying up offense trying not like trying not let it uh, before the two minute and get one other one play in before the two minute and then i and then i didn't have time i didn't realize that it was the two minute it was coming you can see me i'm trying to go again for that deep passes but this time he wasn't bringing down the safety and i got sacked so it's a good thing that I got sacked because that would have been a pick six. Because I would have still threw it. As you can see right here, I'm still trying to go for it. And I can see that right there, I got so lucky. That's good That's good for him because I've been getting cheated all game. So I'll take that. And on that play, I got lucky again because RB, my running back, was right open on that one. He was right open. So I'm still doing the same thing. This time I block my running back just in case he bring it in. And like he all and then on this play, I don't know what happened, but I'm like, man, I know I know he's open, so I don't know what's going on. So I did it again. I caught the same play. And this time we're gonna throw the Evan Ingram. And this time I don't know what happened, but he got the separation. And then he caught the ball, and then right here, mm, Cooper Cup. A little high ball right there. Even if he was lurking underneath, he was not going to do nothing about that. Right here, I was concerned going for the two. Then I realized, nah, man, I'm just going to take my one. And then we're going to play, we're going to play the turtle, uh, the football game. Because all I need is one stop. And I noticed that when he got pressure on him, he, he, he tends to, he tends to do something stupid. So we going, we going, boom right there. Again, night train lane. Mid uh, flat zone KO. He, remember in the first quarter he kept again this uh this play right here. Boom right there. The crosser over over my middle. I was supposed to be there, but I was scared of the flat to to the guy. And then right here, I don't know what was he thinking doing this right here. And Cam Tesla pick it off, get our block, get our little block in, and we're taking it back for six, man. We had to show a little bit. It almost cost us though, but it was better that I did that because I could take away his timeouts. So, so I took my three consecutive knee, put the ball carry on, was conservative, and we're trying to march down the field. Trying to march down and get a field goal. That's all we need. Because at this point, he's sweating his pants. We're going to run it two times, right? Yeah, we running that thing. I know it's going to hurt. And the moment of truth, the funny thing is that he pressed his timeout so early that he ended up not having one more timeout to ice me. So I got lucky with that one. This one gotta hurt you, bro. And then this is the Hail Mary right here. Last play of the game. He tried to toss it up. At first I got scared. I'm like, oh my god, he was running by himself. And then Ken Chester right here, come on with the SWAT, and that's game. We went 39-38. We were down by 14 points twice. And we came back, and then we went down again by 14 points. And then right here, man, I'm telling you, you need to go get your Justin Herbert. Get your Justin Herbert, man. He had decent speed, enough to get, or get out the pocket, enough to do your rollout corners. He got 495, 92 yards, five touchdowns. And a 60, I saw a 60 completion rating. He threw four interception, but if you imagine when you throw four interception, that's all on, on, on a user. But he played well, man. And this is my gameplay. I'll see you guys in the next.